Nintendo, more than anybody, was on a serious hot streak the past couple of years. They've been releasing their sales numbers and have been killing it. And another thing that Nintendo did very, very well with their fans was giving these things called Nintendo Directs. We have not seen a Nintendo Direct in quite some time though, but if you don't know what they are, there's basically, I'm assuming you know if you're watching this, but just for those that are uninitiated, they're just like state of plays inside Xbox, just to, like, to give you the info and updates you need on what Nintendo is working on. The problem is that we haven't gotten a Nintendo Direct ever since September. So keep this in mind, as of the end of next month, it will have been a full year since the last Nintendo Direct. Now, obviously the virus and stuff going around, that's something that set them back as they prominently say in everything that they have had this year, which Nintendo hasn't been completely absent. They have not been completely absent, but it's been a very different year for them. They kicked it off super strongly, super strongly with Animal Crossing New Horizons. It sold phenomenally and is still doing phenomenally. So those that think Nintendo is just like completely absent this year, that's not entirely true because they had one kick-ass game that is still kicking ass. Then, well, let's just follow the timeline here. They had a mini direct in March, this mini direct was okay, it wasn't bad, it was literally a mini direct that just tied people over. And then the lockdown happened. There's things in that direct I kind of want to tease at, like when the hell is the next Smash update going to be, because that's another thing. This was the year that Fighters Pass Volume 2 was supposed to be a prominent thing. We'd probably get three characters by the end of the year. But guess what? Halfway through the year, and in this mini direct, you know, we get announced the first character being Min Min, and we get Min Min, the first character in this past six months into the year. So obviously the Smash DLC got set back. There's tons of conversations to be had in this, but there was no E3 timed general direct. Uh, there was a rumor July direct, but it turned out that one was actually this third party showcase thing that in my opinion, they really need to think of a new name for instead of having the word direct to it. And now there's this rumored August event. There's some kind of rumored August Direct thing, but look, we gotta talk about what Nintendo probably should be doing if they really are super duper, like, not producing things right now. Because again, Nintendo has not had a bad year because they kicked it off with Animal Crossing, which did phenomenally. It's probably gonna get nominated for the Game of the Year, to be honest. And Paper Mario, they kind of shadow dropped. They shadow dropped this trailer for Paper Mario that easily could have been part of a Nintendo Direct. Easily, and would have been a great announcement. And then recently, and kind of a trigger to this video, is that Pikmin 3 got announced its Deluxe Edition, which isn't a massive announcement because it's technically just, you know, a redux of a formerly made game, but it's still something that would have been very well put in a Nintendo Direct, just like Paper Mario. And I find it interesting that instead of putting Paper Mario in a Direct, instead of announcing the next Smash character, instead of announcing, you know, Pikmin 3 Deluxe, instead of having this third party showcase, what if they just compound it all and had a general Direct? I just find it interesting. I just find it interesting that Nintendo is really not doing a Direct this year. And that's kind of my question is, do you think Nintendo is going to have a Direct this year? I'm honestly curious, because I have a feeling they are just gonna go all of 2020 without doing a Direct, which is crazy. Meanwhile, you know, PlayStation and Xbox are kicking butt and having all these shows and, you know, Devolver Digital and PC stuff are doing great having all these shows just digitally. Ubisoft is, EA is, and so on. But Nintendo, one of the big three, continues to remain incredibly silent. And it's worrisome for one of the big three to do that. I freaking love Nintendo. That's not my main boy, but I still, I root for all three of them, man. I love all three of them. And I want to hear more of what Nintendo's doing because guess what? They were on a hot streak ever since their launch in 2017. They would have like a general direct, what, maybe a couple times a year. And whenever there was a general direct, it just seemed like there was constantly something coming to you on the Nintendo platform, whether it was a port or third party games, which they opened themselves up to. And 
something first party. But now, this year, it's like we're getting shadow drop the first party stuff. So what is Nintendo's big holiday release? We don't know. What's the progress on Metroid Prime 4? We don't know. What's the progress on Breath of the Wild 2? We don't know. How's Bayonetta 3 doing? We don't know. In my opinion, the solution to this that Nintendo could really be doing, I don't think anybody should be asking them to compete in this console war or next gen thing. I have another video I'd like to do about that soon, that there is no console war anymore, except for hardcore fanboys, but Nintendo doesn't need to take part in it. And that's just because they're their own thing. Everybody's starting to become their own thing and that's great. Does Nintendo need a big holiday release though? Hell yeah. <laughs> and as much as Pikmin is like my favorite Nintendo franchise, it is not Pikmin 3 Deluxe. That is not the big holiday release. We have no idea what the holiday release is. How come we haven't gotten any Smash news? And that's just because these Nintendo Directs usually are the way to reveal the next character. It's almost like a big highlight moment to attach to these directs. Like whenever there's a Nintendo Direct, people can expect, oh, they're gonna show the next Smash character. Yeah, Nintendo probably had a total of six directs planned over the next two years, which makes perfect sense. They are long overdue for a direct, but when they have this direct, unfortunately, people are going to downplay it because that's just what the internet does. Whenever something, it's been years, to the buildup of Kingdom Hearts 3. It's been years for this buildup thing. Whenever, whenever something is long gapped wise, the internet expresses disappointment. But they either A, need to have a direct and let people know what's going on, or do something similar to when they announced the news for Metroid Prime 4. I will always appreciate that day when they just had a higher up, get on camera and talk about Metroid Prime 4 and how it's just very, you know, they needed a reset and they just let people know that there was no concept art, no gameplay. They just let people know, hey, this is the situation. Why don't they do that? Why don't they just get somebody on camera higher up? Hey, look at Sakurai. Sakurai did a video explaining Min Min and that was shot. I believe he said in May or something. It was like a month before it actually aired. Yeah, just shoot some of the developers in their home, send them some camera gear or something, or just send one person, whatever, with mask and quarantine stuff, that's fine, and just record some updates from your various developers and just let people know, hey, this is the situation. Communicating how you are doing does so much for your community and your fans, and I think that's personally what Nintendo should do. The Direct really could just be a voiceover, though, with trailers like Paper Mario and Pikmin 3 and the next Smash character and th the third party stuff like just have another mini why not <laughs> it just confuses me it really does and I just felt like doing a video about this to one explain a solution idea just being communicate what you're doing what can you expect from us holiday season and what's going on with the projects we've told you about that's it it'd be nice to hear anything from Nintendo because their silence is truly deafening and yeah I was really happy to get Pikmin 3 recently, and you can check that out at the side, what my thoughts were on that, and a little bit more on this topic. But I want to know what you think, and what should Nintendo do for the holiday season? What game should they release? What do you want to see? Or how do you think they should handle their silence? Let me know that in the comments, and thank you so much for watching.